My father started rehearsing every day after school. Other kids would be outside playing and they would tease us. Oh, you're doing this. You're not going to get nowhere. You're not going to. We just rehearsed every day. Michael's provocative flirtation undoes even the most elaborate security system. Though he dances away from such encounters, Michael is uncomfortable, he confesses, with the process of getting acquainted. The only total strangers he trusts are the ones out there, beyond the footlights. At your concerts, there are hundreds of people in the audience yelling, Michael, Michael! Uh, what do you feel like? When they're all holding hands and everybody's rocking and all colors of people are there, all races, and it's the most wonderful thing, and politicians can't even do that. cut an album without his brothers in August. It's called Off the Wall, and it's headed for triple platinum, meaning three million sold. This song, Rock With You, is from the album. You hear it everywhere. It seems to have become the skater's anthem in Southern California. Two months after its release, Rock With You is still climbing the charts. He was so mature as a performer that in the early days, people called Michael a 45-year-old midget. As an adult, Michael's professional energy is almost unparalleled, but off stage, he's changed. All the time. Do you? Well, I shouldn't say all the time, but... I get embarrassed easily, and uh, I don't know, sometimes the, the time, I'm most comfortable on stage than any place in the world. Uh, being around, you know, everyday people and stuff, I feel strange. I do. Sure. Yeah. Woo! Or to think that Michael still lives with mom and dad. There are some people who believe that having always been on stage, you've never had to deal with the real world. Yeah, that's true in one way. That's true in one way. But it's hard to in my position. Um, I try to sometimes. Uh, but people won't deal with me in that way because they see me differently. They won't talk to me like they will the next door neighbor. <laughs> On stage, for me, it's the greatest place in the world. It's just you just light up. On stage, it's magic. <laughs> Don't stop till you get enough is Michael's own composition. Within two weeks of its release last summer, it
it was in the top 50, and by October, it was number one. It's still on the charts. <laughs> Do you ever want to stop? No, don't stop till you get enough. And you haven't had enough. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> the thing I like most about being on stage is making people happy. Because I feel I'm here on earth for a reason. And I think that's my job to do that. I've been doing it for so long. And, um... As long as the people enjoy it, I'll always be happy. Are you really as close as you seem? Yeah, we're all close. And the idea of being separated from them, does that hurt? No, it doesn't. It, um... Because there's other kinds of sounds of music that I love to do. It hurts what is inside of me and it can't get out. And it's hidden from the world when I do those solo albums and I'm doing all kinds of different music. It's wonderful. I feel like I'm accomplishing what I'm supposed to do. And you don't feel guilty or worried about your brothers? No. Because they understand. Uh, why, why hide something? Why hide it? Share it. <laughs>